Another example, okay? And this is a really good example of what happens when you don't take the five minutes it takes to go to your construction experts and do the background check. I had a customer of mine in Sebastopol, she is a realtor, and her husband needed a tree removed from the backyard of their home. And so he called his wife and said, honey, I found a tree company. I think they're gonna come out tomorrow and trim our tree. Well, the company comes out the next day, they climb up in the tree, they cut a limb out, the limb falls and kills one of the workers in the backyard. Well, the husband didn't listen to the wife and didn't do the background check like she had asked him to do. But after the injury, he goes in to look and sure enough, that particular company, not only did they not have a license, they had no insurance, they had no workman's comp, they had no protections for that consumer. When I heard of the story, which is about 15 years ago, at that point they were $175,000 into defending every piece of property they own because their homeowner's insurance refused to make a payment because the work being done in their home was illegal. There are countless examples of this type of exposure that people don't realize they're doing.